Hello, everyone. I'm Master Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard, Steve Cantrell. I'm here today to ask for your help in preventing a senseless loss of life involving our Coast Guard member. During the past two years, 10 of our members have died in motorcycle accidents, and many more have sustained serious and often life-changing injuries. The loss affects us all in some way, and the fact that most of these mishaps could have been prevented is something I cannot accept. We operate in some of the most hazardous environments in the world, but by following policy, executing proper procedures, conducting training, wearing the correct personal protective equipment, and monitoring one another, we enjoy an enviable safety record. Why are we not applying the same attitude and practices to motorcycle riding? I know many of you find motorcycle riding to be an enjoyable and exhilarating experience, but we must not lose sight of the hazards and vulnerabilities it presents to the rider. While some motorcycle mishaps are not the fault of the rider, the majority are due to lack of training, driving at unsafe speeds, alcohol consumption, failure to wear safety gear, and failure to comply with state or Coast Guard safety requirements. Riding late at night or during early morning hours is another causative factor in many accidents, since doing so can result in fatigue as well as decreased visibility for both riders and motorists. May is Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month. Whether you're a rider or not, we all have a role and responsibility in preventing motorcycle mishaps. The first step is to recognize and understand the hazards of motorcycle riding. You'll become familiar with the risks associated with riding, measures and strategies to reduce those risks, and state laws and common op policy regarding motorcycle riding. Throughout the year, we will release motorcycle safety messages on Coast Guard's All Hands blog that will provide training opportunities, lessons learned, tools and strategies for professional riders, public service announcements, and rider testimonials. We will maintain relentless pressure and visibility on this, the number one cause of motor vehicle fatalities in our service. Whether you're riding, driving, or walking, these safety messages will provide valuable information to protect yourself and your family. I challenge each of you to become familiar with the hazards presented in this training and these safety messages and to engage your colleagues when you see behavior that could be considered unsafe. Don't sit idle or be intimidated by how the member will respond. You may be the last chance to save someone's life. The time for action is now. Together, we can prevent the senseless loss of life. Semper Paratus.